All right, what's going on guys? It's Chev and uh, welcome to a little vlog. Right now I'm gonna be stopping over at a Taco Bell to go and try this naked chicken chalupa thing. It's that this isn't gonna be like a big food review or some shit like that. I'm not even gonna name it food review or whatever, but it came out today, I felt like trying it, so we're gonna go. Yeah. I'm good. Let me help you today. <clears throat> um, okay, can I get uh, three naked chicken chalupas? Three naked chicken chalupas? Yep. Okay. And also a strawberry starburst freeze. I was about to be so mad if they didn't have it. So here we got the naked chicken chalupa. It's actually, it looks really fucking good. Like, I, I, I'm actually really excited to try this. It smells good. They heat it up a little bit to take it back and forth, but I accidentally ordered three of them. I don't know why I ordered three of them. I think I was like looking at the menu and then I, and I looked at the number three and then I said three naked chalupas. I don't know, but I got three of them, so <laughs> probably ain't gonna eat all of them though. But anyway, yeah, naked chicken chalupa. Let's try it. It's pretty good. Like I said, it's not gonna be like a food review, but it's pretty good. I figured it was gonna be pretty good. Basically just chicken with like cheese and lettuce and there's, and there's some different sauces on it. It's actually kind of spicy. Like a lot spicier than I thought it would be. I mean, this could just be me being a white kid that grew up with old white people, but I can't really handle spice that well, but I've definitely had spicier things than this before, like a ghost pepper. When you've eaten things that are like 800,000 to 1 million Scoville units, you just, it's not. <laughs> Other things that are spicy, you can go, yeah, they're spicy, but it's really, it could be so much worse. So as I'm recording this video, I already have the part three for Resident Evil uh, done. I rendered it out last night. Left my computer on and everything and just like let it render. Got it all rendered out. This one, oh, Oh man, this episode is so... The game gets to a point to where you kind of have to like try to think for yourself. Like the game doesn't hold your hand the entire way. Like how do I explain it? Usually in like games like when I played uh, Outlast, there was only like one way to go. You know what I mean? Like in this game, you have all these different choices and all these different items that you pick up that you really have no idea what they're for half of the time. When you go to a new area, you can actually backtrack all the way. Whereas like something like Outlast or whatever, it's like you can't really like free roam around or backtrack in any way, shape or form. You can just kind of in. You can maybe get to an area where you can walk back and forth between something to figure something out, but other than that, it's Resident Evil is different. You could just like walk all the way back and forth between all these different areas. Like you could pick something up like midway through the game and go back to something that was near the beginning of the game just to unlock it with that item. At last, it doesn't do that. And that's really bad for me because I'm not the most intelligent person in the world or I don't think a lot of things out before I do them or when I pick something up. It should be really obvious what I could use it for. And people in the comment sections have already talked shit to me and they were like, dude, you missed a fucking shotgun. Are you stupid? Reading comments saying, I cringe so hard when you walk past a shotgun. Like, I don't know everything. I don't know where to look exactly. It's really easy for you to just sit back and backseat game. But me, I'm just sitting here trying not to get killed by some old dude on steroids and weird glob monsters and shit. Give me a break. I'll figure a lot of it out, okay? I'm gonna get through it. If it has to be done, it will be done. But like I was saying, this episode that's gonna be going up in a couple hours from this video's uploading point is it has basically one of the worst jump scares ever. Like, okay. I wanna show you a preview, but at the same time, I don't wanna spoil where the jump scare is. How do I do this? Here, I'll just let you listen. Yeah. This episode has the worst jump scare by far, so far anyway. This episode has the worst jump scare for sure by far, so far. It scared the fuck out of me. I did not expect it. I thought I was safe, but I just wasn't. My uh, League adventures haven't been going well at all. Went on a pretty bad losing streak right here. Five games in a row. I won a game and I was like, okay, here we go. We're good. I was trying to abuse the champions that everybody else is like using now. And then I only won one game and now I've lost two more. Last night was not going very well for me. I started at platinum 5-0 LP, ended at platinum 5-0 LP. <laughs> and the worst part is on that 0 LP, I've lost like five times on that 0 LP. And it's just, it's so fucking bad. Like I'm waiting for any moment to get demoted. And it takes a lot to get demoted from a tier down. It takes a lot of losses to like go from platinum to gold or gold to silver or silver to bronze. It takes a lot of losses to do that. Like it, it's gotta be pretty bad. Right now I have a gold three MMR, that's pretty bad. I, if I lose like maybe three or four more times without any Ws, I'm in trouble. Fuck is this game, For Honor? Well, all the streamers are playing it. For Honor, powered by Amazon Prime. It looks like a game where you 1v1 people as like a soldier in like medieval times. Looks pretty cool. It looks like something I tilt off the face of the earth from. Last night my girlfriend and I, we finally ended up winning a duos match even though we camped our asses off. We basically just sat inside of a church and waited. <laughs> we ended up getting like two total kills throughout the entire game, which is just pathetic. We almost won a second game though, where I think we got like 11 combined kills or something like that, uh, but we ended up getting like seventh place or something. At phase, Jeb, is this 2012? Why are your videos still 720p? 
I'm blocking you. I mean, yeah, really, I don't have much else to talk about. I'm just, you know, I'm chilling. I started watching other people's playthroughs on Resident Evil up to the points that I got to. And it's actually been, like, really funny watching other people and see how they're doing things and how they're handling things. It actually kind of makes me feel a little less bad about, like, the shit that I do. Because I promise you, as soon as you see this episode that's coming up, you'll see how lost you can get in this motherfucker. Merck uploaded a video named Booty. Gonna have to go there. Anyway, yeah, thank you guys so much for all the support on my videos. Part 3 of Resident Evil will be up in a couple hours from this point. And that one for sure has, like, the worst jump scare in it. Uh, I know a lot of people are going down to the comment sections looking for that one guy to, like, post all the timestamps of, uh, whenever the next jump scare comes. Just so you're prepared. No cheating, okay? I didn't have to sit here and be stressed out and confused and worried and my anxiety. Just stick through it like I am. Anyway, yeah, thank you guys so much for all the support on my videos. Leave a like if you enjoyed. And, uh, yeah. It's been Jeff, guys. Later.